Welcome back to Little Grow Box. It's Phoebe here with Matt behind the camera. And on this channel, we share with you all our experiences and tips to help you travel well. And in today's episode, we are in New Zealand in the beautiful South Island, checking out Tekapo, Araki Mount Cook, and a few gorgeous spots in between. <music> The town of Tekapo is located right here at the southern end of Lake Tekapo in the heart of the Mackenzie region. And in 2018, the census said there was something like 518 residents living here. So it is a small but very mighty and very beautiful destination. It's located along the popular State Highway 8 and it's only three hours drive from Christchurch. So if you were doing something like we're doing, going from Christchurch down to spots like Wanaka and Queenstown, this is the perfect place to stop. The lake and surrounding district were recognized as an international dark sky reserve in 2012. It means the night skies here are almost completely free of any light pollution. And that is what we're gonna be making the most of at our accommodation this evening. Just you wait and see. Opened in 1935, the Church of the Good Shepherd is the sole church here in Tekapo and it is still used as a place of worship. When constructing it, the builders were told that they needed to leave the site as untouched as possible. And you see that reflected here today with the bushes and the large stones still surrounding the church. Those stones that you see in the wall of the church behind me, they were sourced within a five mile radius of this site. And the builders are instructed they needed to be natural and unchipped. And that is why this place is so very special. For lunch here in Tekapo, we have come to the Greedy Town. Now this place was recommended to us by our amazing tour guide Rue in Christchurch. And if somebody's leading a food tour, in another city and they tell you to eat here, you absolutely have to come here. Now I have gone for their vegan bowl. It looks delicious. I am so hungry. Look at that. Brussels sprouts, yams, potatoes, bread. It's got it all. That's amazing. All right, we are jumping back in the car and heading to our next destination. But one thing I did want to tell you about is a great spot for coffee. It's called Astro Coffee and it's up on, I believe, Mount John Hill near the observatory up there. We went up there a few years ago and it was such a great experience. You just get the best views. The coffee is amazing. I've heard the carrot cake is legendary. Call ahead and check it out. And if you can get up there, trust me, you're going to love it. It's gorgeous. All right, let's hit the road. Welcome to beautiful Lake Bukaki. At 178 square kilometers, it is the largest of three lakes which run roughly parallel in a north to south format through the Mackenzie Basin, with the other two being Tekapo and Ohau. And what is particularly special about this one, other than how beautiful that blue water is, it also shows off New Zealand's tallest peak, our Raki Mount Cook, which you can see behind me. Now we're gonna be exploring that a whole lot more tomorrow, but for now, we're just going to stay here and enjoy these incredible views. For accommodation, we are staying here at Highlands Farm Stay a gorgeous Airbnb located five minutes drive outside of Twizel. Now we are staying in the executive barn and this entire place, we have it all to ourselves. There's an incredible sized ensuite, a separate bedroom, and the kitchen is equipped with everything you could possibly need. This place has so much space. You feel like you are immersed in nature and the light behind those mountains, it is stunning. But one of the best things, has to be this bathtub with more than enough room for two to get cozy and warm up, watch the sunset and the starry night sky. I've lost you. But you're off 
It may look like I've been sitting here all afternoon. I assure you, I have not. I got out for a while, I've had a great afternoon, but I am back in this tub. It is epic. Now, when we got here, the place had these great little packages of food and a map to all the different farm animals. So we spent a bit of time walking around. There were hericus, there were goats, there were sheep. Now, I got to say that Airbnb is probably I can't think of a better one. I think this is the best Airbnb experience we've ever had. It's fantastic. The lady who runs it is a legend. Um, to be honest, we're a little bit hesitant about the price. It was around $200 a night, which, you know, we were like, oh, is it going to be worth that? It's an Airbnb. Yeah, worth it. Really happy that we spent the money on it because you get this amazing experience. In addition to everything in there that's incredible, in addition to the animals, you get to sit out here and take advantage of what I was talking about earlier, that night sky reserve. I stood right here on this exact same spot, wearing this exact same outfit, ready to do the Hooker Valley track. Moments later, we discovered it was closed. It was very disappointing. I am back and I am ready to fulfill my outfit destiny. Hooker Valley track, you are mine. meters our Rocky Mount Cook is New Zealand's highest peak now it lies within the Southern Alps which run the length of New Zealand's beautiful South Island and I have to tell you the Hooker Valley track this morning is something special we have come out of that kind of cold and shadow of the mountain out here into this valley with plenty of sunshine the track is so well maintained with these boardwalks it's like every second you have to stop to take a photo this one shows you where low peak is and I suspect you line that up with it, right? And then what? Look at where it goes. Just call me Nicholas Cage, because this is national treasure. made it to the end of the Hooker Valley track and it is nothing short of spectacular out here. You come to a viewpoint over the Glacier Lake, which is Hooker Lake. Ah, there are icebergs in there. It is an incredible color. You're surrounded by mountains and of course our Racky Mount Cook in the background. Now all of this forms part of the Racky Mount Cook National Park. It covers some 700 square kilometers comprised of around 140 or so peaks, 72 or so named glaciers and those glaciers take up around 40% of that 700 square kilometers. That goes to tell you just how big they are. Now you can see our Rocky Mount Cook behind me and it is something to behold. The first recorded attempt of somebody trying to get to the summit was in 1882 and they got within 50 meters of the top. So close yet so far. After that, there were three Kiwis who were determined that, determined that the top should be reached by Kiwis. I think that is so cool. And they actually actually did it in 1894 and that is the first recorded successful reach of the summit. Absolutely amazing. The whole area is very important in the Maori culture. The story goes something like this. Our Raki and his three brothers, the sons of Rakanui, were canoeing in the night. Their canoe turned over and when they flipped it over or they climbed on top actually to get on top of it, the south wind froze them and the canoe. The canoe became the South Island of New Zealand and the brothers became the Southern Alps, which is where we are right now. 
it's a pretty incredible story and well worth looking into just how special this place is and the meaning behind it in the local culture. It's an amazing story. All right, so I kept track on Strava as promised. It says we covered 10.53 kilometers and it took us four hours to do it. Honestly, I think you could do it in three hours, but Matt and I really took our time on the way out there filming lots of photos really stopping to enjoy the moment and of course a couple of tea breaks in there too so keep that in mind um i don't think this is the kind of thing you just come out here and snap off you you want to take your time you want to make sure you enjoy it uh and one other tip for you um being able to track this stuff on strava has been awesome you know not just for telling you guys but for us as well it's really nice to keep a record of everything um stuff is free i recommend downloading it and having it so that you can just keep a track of all these great hikes that you do around the world um and we've been able to do that because we've had local sim cards so before we left australia we got some unlimited sim cards from the guys at sims direct they have been epic i don't know why we've never done sim cards before when we've come to New Zealand it's changed the game it's made it so easy to nav around on Google Maps um, we can check out Airbnb accommodation details on the fly like make sure you've got the right code how to get there directions all that kind of thing stay in touch with my mom <laughs> stay in touch with you guys here on YouTube update our stories all that kind of stuff it has really been awesome and even researching on the fly you know today we were like looking up pictures of um, our Rocky Mountain cook and stuff like that so it's been so helpful and one other thing guys I was like, unlimited sims, how good can they be? Matt and I were just talking about how we have been smashing these sim cards. Matt's been streaming football shows every night. I've been like watching a million hours of TikTok. They never run out. They really don't. The quality is amazing. So Sims Direct is the hot tip. We'll have that link below for you. But now we are back in the car. We're going to be heading to our next destination, a place I didn't even know existed. And I'm really excited to check it out. Let's go. to the Omarama Clay Cliffs. Now it took us around about 50 or so minutes to drive here from where we were at the start of the Hooker Valley track. And I'm so glad we pushed to come here because it is awesome. Now the light is against us, but trust me, this place looks even better in real life than it does right now on film. And I don't know why I've never seen this place before or heard of it before. What we're seeing there, all those different colors in the clay cliffs are deposits of sandstone, claystone, gravel, and silt. And they tell the story of deposits from an ancient lake and then an ancient river that used to be here. And of course, over time, wind erosion has carved these incredible shapes that you see behind me and it is just otherworldly. We're going to keep walking and we're going to explore it a little bit more but when we did come in this place is on private property and that's okay the owners are cool for people to come and visit. There are some instructions out the front when you get to the front gate and they tell you what to do when you get in here including that you have to pay five dollars into an honesty box per car so make sure you do that before you come in. You know, the 10 kilometre warm up precursor to this is too much. <laughs> Spread it out, gang. <laughs> this is what it's like to do Haraki. That is an incredible hidden jam. I am so glad we made the time to visit. Now you guys, we have been able to get around so freely thanks to this amazing car, thanks to the guys at Go Rentals. They are a fantastic company. Um, we've had our fair share of car rental companies over the years, trust me, they are not all equal. Go Rentals is one of the good guys. Uh, they have an amazing app, which just makes picking up your vehicle so easy. We didn't have to stand there and go through this whole check-in rigmarole. It was seamless. So if you are looking for a vehicle, I definitely recommend going with something this kind of size, your SUV, RAV4 size, if you're doing a bigger road trip like us, but they have something for every budget and every need. So check them out. And we are gonna jump back in and we're gonna head back to our accommodation because there are a few, a few locals we think you really need to meet. I think you're gonna like them. 
<laughs> Don't be a bully! Don't be a bully! So all of these animals um, that we're about to feed, they're all here at our Airbnb. Highlands Farm Stay, it's awesome. Um, found this place and have loved every single moment of it. <laughs> the animals are definitely a highlight and the owner gives you different kinds of food in labeled boxes so you know which food to give which animal and there's a mud map they've put together with like little stickers of the animals on it so you can come and make friends with them. And these two are the most beautiful animals here without question. Something about standing there just looking at them set against these mountains I can't describe it it's Oh, I don't know, it's humbling somehow. It's giving me chills just thinking about it. Those are beautiful, beautiful creatures. Um, I had a revelation earlier today. For as long as I've known him, Matt and I have always jokingly called them <laughs> called them her hairy coos. I thought it was a joke. We have a Scottish friend who calls them a hairy coo. Um, Matt thought that they were actually called hairy coos. <laughs> this whole time I've been going, oh, there's a hairy coo. And he's been going, ah, oh, yes, a hairy coo. Excellent. <laughs> They're Highland cows. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, amazing. They're I amazing, love it. it? <laughs> They're so beautiful, you guys. This is an amazing place to stay. I highly recommend. They also have a couple of dogs. Um, we've made friends with them as well and let them into the Airbnb. It was really lovely. Uh, we've had really just the best time checking out the whole area. Tekapo is so beautiful. This whole area around Twizel, Araki, it is a stunning part of New Zealand. It would be easy to gloss over it on a road trip and just head straight for Wanaka or Queenstown. I'm telling you, you'd be missing out. And making the time to stay somewhere in an accommodation that allows you to have that stargazing experience will take it to the next level. We weren't really able to capture it properly with our cameras. It's one of those things you have to experience for yourself. Trust me, if you do, you'll never forget it. And with that, you guys, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you have enjoyed it and the hairy coos. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya.